Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today we'll be taking a look at Windows 10 build 17692 for PC. This build was released today for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and to those who opted in to skip ahead. Please keep in mind that the features we'll be looking at today have been released through the Windows Insider program, and will remain a work in progress this way until the next big update for Windows 10. Since Microsoft acquired SwiftKey in 2016, we've slowly been seeing its integration into the Windows ecosystem. SwiftKey is currently available as a keyboard replacement on iOS and Android, where it may eventually begin seeing some interesting PC mirroring features. While the touch keyboard in Windows 10 has already gone through many iterations, SwiftKey integration in Build 17692 seeks to further improve its performance. The appearance of the touch keyboard is unchanged, however, the experience, in currently supported languages at least, is now powered by SwiftKey. The accuracy of shape writing should be improved, and the keyboard will better remember your typing style in order to give you more relevant suggestions. I'd expect to see more on this in future builds. It will be easier for developers to use WebDriver in Microsoft Edge. WebDriver is now a Windows feature on demand, meaning that it will be able to download at any time. WebDriver may be added by enabling developer mode in the Windows settings, or by installing it through the Optional Features panel. If this is something that you find interesting, a whole lot more can be learned over at the Microsoft Edge dev blog. In the Ease of Access settings in Windows 10, new options for increasing text size independent of UI scaling can now be found under Display, in Ease of Access, of course. Um, these settings are called Make Everything Bigger, which include a slider for text size and a selection box for UI scaling. Including these controls here was an interesting choice, as there are now two different places that you can change UI scaling in the Windows settings. Now, it's hardly noticeable, but I've also noticed that the drop-down and context menus in the Windows settings have been updated in this build with an acrylic background. It seems this affects some other context menus across Windows, including those in Action Center and in Timeline. We'll definitely start seeing more of this in future builds of Windows. Many improvements have been made to the narrator in this build of Windows 10. Based on feedback, narrator now comes with a new keyboard layout that will be more familiar to screen reader users. You can take a look at what's new in the new narrator keyboard layout documentation. Too recently, the game bar was redesigned, but here we are again. The settings you find in the new game bar allow gamers on-demand access to things they previously would have needed to exit full screen mode to enjoy. In addition to video capturing controls, you can now view performance visualizations for FPS, CPU, GPU, and RAM usage right from inside your game. On the right, there's even an audio mixer that lets you control the volume of apps independently from one another. This feature isn't even available on the standard taskbar volume layout, um, so this is something that's really cool for me. If you're a Windows Mixed Reality user, a welcome new feature is the option in the Windows settings to allow audio mirroring across both your headset and desktop speakers. This has been a quick overview of some of the new features and changes in Windows 10 build 17692. This build is available through the Windows Insider program, which in addition to all these new features also have quite a few issues. Um, they won't cause your device to explode, but you probably won't want to install them onto your main device. Proceed with caution. And until then, this has been Cody on Microsoft. Thank you, goodbye.